Oh. Come now, Alice. Oh. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It, it's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Uh, uh, I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. She'll be all right. <laughs> You're right, mate. No, Alice. Discard that delusion. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's oh. <laughs> happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Uh, something <laughs> wrong? Rob! Oh, no! Not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new one emerge. Pollution. Corruption? It's killing me. Wonderland is destroyed. My mind is in ruins. Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake Ugh. at the sound. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. <laughs> now, Charlie. That is a strange-looking boy. Your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. The past is dead, Charlie. Okay, so I'm just going to. Ooh. Hopefully, it doesn't crash again. Um, I'm just going to change over because we are actually playing this now. Uh, oh, poops. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> okay, it's alright. I can see you guys now. Tweedles. Oh yeah, he could. I, I think he might be one of the Ds. Oh, that, that would explain why. That would explain. Because I guess a lot of the time they kind of experience like stuff like in her wonderland is, is stuff from real life, isn't it? It's I mean, it's holding up pretty good. It looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. It looks really good. Boys room. So she's obviously in, I'm guessing either in an, uh, either in an orphanage or some sort of um, Can't find the door. psychiatric facility. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? She sounds like, if you guys have seen Corpse Bride, she sounds like, is it Lady Victoria or something? The one that he's supposed to marry and I guess he ends up marrying. Um, I, I think her name was Emily Watson. Um, so let me know if it's the same person because they sound very similar. It's ten years in the loony bin. No ma, no relation. She's an orphan. <laughs> 
He's a very naughty boy. The child was definitely not played by a child. Oh, here we go. Another day, a different dream, perhaps. Okay, so it is an orphanage. Oh yeah, there we go. Houndsditch home for wayward youth, whatever that means. Dr. Al Dr. Angus Bumby. Right, what do we have here? Oh, this thing is killing me, babe. I call work noble, bastards. It's like mining. <laughs> Can't come this way, love. Got to go around. Or a crack den could be a crack den. <laughs> Machine made. Do they say faucets? Oh, corsets. I was gonna say. I was like, because we don't call them faucet, uh, fa faucets, not faucets. Uh, we don't call them faucets in the UK. <gasps> Pumpkins, though. What is she doing? You look nice. Why is everyone so creepy looking? I guess it's kind of part of the art style, but still. Hello, little kitty. Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. Everyone here sounds like Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> Dick Van... I don't know, I still feel like... Oh, I don't know, I guess he's got quite a strong kind of London accent, has not he? He's like... Well, we got to go do the... I don't know. They, they sound more like really like scary London. You know what I mean? Like, nah, you can't go down there, love. Nah, nah, you got to go down there. Like no oh my God, look at her waist. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. <laughs> she sounds, uh, I don't know how old she's supposed to be. She only looks like a teenager, but she sound, definitely sounds like a grown woman. I've got the old bamboo stuck on my head now. I hope you're happy, Bunthorn. They should make this into a film or a series, it'd be so good. Like a proper horror series. The stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. <laughs> Pretty birds. I don't really want to look at your pigeons, ma'am. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. My rabbit. Just googled her age. Still She's meant to be 11? No She's supposed her to be 11. Right Get Tim Burton on that one and we make this into a fine. I know, that's what I mean. This would be really good. Everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bumby's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some <laughs> pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, Oh, died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Cheap. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Oh, that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need oh, money. Oh, it's Wounds like a. That I'd tell the coppers if she didn't like make a, a rabbit donation to my. Teddy. Action. She yells and goes off her head. This she can't remember her name, what I heard. Hmm. Yeah, there's no way she's 11. I mean, you know, like 14 maybe, but she doesn't sound or look 11. <laughs> uh, ah. 
Oh. Nice view. Nurse Witness, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a thirst you could photograph. Need a drink. Uh oh. <laughs> Here we go. I forgot how dark this game was actually. The actress that voices Alice is currently 63. God. Oh, so she must have been at least in her 30s when, which sounds like it. She sounds like she's in her 30s, like mid 30s, um, voicing the girl. So, but then how long ago was this? Must have been at least like, I don't know, actually saying that, it could have been about 15 years ago. So pretty. Just realised I think what I read means that the game came out 11 years ago. Ah, right, okay. That makes sense. Very upsetting Dark as in lighting or content, because yes, I agree. I think it's whatever she's become. both. <laughs> At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. So interesting, because yeah, she sounds like... Time oh. too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself when necessary. Thanks very much. I was hoping to escape. <laughs> Look at that, like that. cow that bird book. thing. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. He's cool. I like him. The so game is 11, Alice. Okay, she's 19. That that makes a lot more sense. She would sound a little bit more grown up if she was 19, I guess. Ooh. It looks really good. Like, I'm, I'm impressed with... I mean, I'm sure they've kind of remastered it, but I'm really impressed with how good this looks. But, um, yeah, the voice... Ah. The voice actress, um, she sounds like Victoria from... Corpse Bride, but she also does kind of sound like um, Kate Archer from one of my favourite games, uh, No One Lives Forever. So it could be the same. This could be the same voice actress. I'm not sure. Or it could just be the fact that it's a woman who's doing a posh. But then again, I say that I don't know because it's like I, I could do a posh voice and I wouldn't sound like Alice. Oh, that's so pretty. Jump again to twelve. Ooh. And we can also float down. Hello, child. Is that me? Oh, oh, please don't. I'm gonna check. Okay, so there isn't an option to save. If you leap from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. Oh, I thought I thought these were gonna be bouncy. What game is it? I think I was Oh there we go. <laughs> I think I was thinking of Bugs Life, but it's okay, because there is bouncy, there is bouncy mushrooms. That's all I ask. That's all I wanted. Was and bouncy mushrooms. Scalia, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy Can consistency, I go in there? but poisonous. Poisonous. I love stuff like this, where it's just dark and creepy, but also like really pretty. Like, um, I haven't watched the Hey! You sound quite posh to me. That's just because I'm British. <laughs> I'm not before. that posh, but thank you very much, Zach. <laughs> Hello. Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. Mm. A plunge in that pool is in order. My God. Oh, there I'm she goes. I'm in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, 
You can see things that are merely invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it. Quite. 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 for the trees. Just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Ah, okay. Got ya, got ya. So I have to shrink down. To I mean, she probably could have crawled. Ooh. How long do I stay shrunk so for? She's become all curled up. She's barely there. A vixen in her hidey hole. A vixen in her hidey hole. <laughs> Susie Brand voiced Alice. Oh, yeah, I don't know who that is. So it's not Emily um, Emily Watson then. So it's not the one that played Victoria. So they sound very similar. Mushrooms that make you bouncy. These are definitely for jumping and not eating, right? Oh, oh, I've got to hold it down. Right, got you, got you. There we go. This is really cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ooh, hello, purple flower. Oh. I like that she hiccups. Oh, <gasps> ugh. Oh, holy moly. You're a big boy. Oh, good, yes. Let's collect some teeth. Because that's a normal thing to do. Actually, you know what I'm saying? That I used to collect my teeth. I used to collect my baby teeth when I was old, when I kind of realized that it was my mum, which was very, quite soon. <laughs> That's kind of sad, but um, I very quickly realized that there was no tooth fairy and it was in fact my mother. Um, and so I had this tiny little ceramic chest and I just used to keep my baby teeth in it. That's kind of gross, but I did that. I just remembered. <laughs> hey, it could be worse. Like I've heard of people keeping their finger clippings and stuff. It's been fun hanging out for the past hour. It was great intro to your streams. I'll be back tomorrow if you are here. Goodbye. Thank you so much for hanging with us, Jordan. Um, and yes, I'll be back tomorrow evening as well as on the weekend. Uh, I'm doing a collab stream on the weekend with uh, Nikki, um, which is also still Panda. So please come join us. We're going to try and play some Resident Evil 6. It's going to be a laugh because, as you all know, Resident Evil 6 is a fantastic game. <laughs> it's really not that bad, guys. But it gets a bad rap, but it's it's not that bad. Woo! Wee mama! Oh. Okay. Going for a slip and slide? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I think this is like a chalkboard, it looks like. There we go. Oh, a golden tooth. I need to get a filling. I might ask to get a gold filling. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. They also had teeth. These snails have teeth. That is not normal. It's time for me to watch Coronation Street. Nice. <laughs> if you like that sort of thing. <laughs> what is that? A dragon? My dad used to keep his wisdom tooth in the car the ashtray. He was handing out boiled sweets on a long journey. He'd occasionally be given a tooth. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I've not come back here looking for I love a it. Really? That's a pity. Oh, that is a pretty knife. Look at that. That'd be a cool prop to make. The Vorpal Blade goes snicker snack. It leaves them dead as seen in a previous poem. <laughs> okay. The vorpal blade inflicts the swiftest damage to a single target at close range. I'm guessing. Oh, yes. Very nice, very nice. Oh no, the dragon. Oh, well, that's not a good sound. Oh, she's crying blood now. Good, good, good. Sorry about the loss of the queen and congratulations on your new king. Thanks! Again, I mean, it's obviously sad, but I'm just not really that sort of big into the whole royal family and stuff like that. But it's it's still someone has passed away and I, I like the queen. She was sweet, you know, she was funny. Um, so it's always going to be sad. Anyone passing away is always going to be sad. Um, but uh, but yeah, thank you. It's it's kind of strange to think that we do have a king now. Very strange. It's, it's all a bit surreal, but... Um, a bit. It happens. Okay. LT. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Interesting, okay. Interesting fight mechanic. Wasn't expecting it to kind of be your final fantasy on me. 
Oh, I like how she dodges, she turns into butterflies. It's interesting. I, I do have a fascination with that. Like, I love stuff like that. I think that's so pretty. Um, but at the same time, like, I have such a phobia of moths. <laughs> But that's really that, that that doesn't bother me. I guess because they're kind of pretty colours. But yeah, I just I feel like butterflies are more like they they kind of try and stay away from you a little bit more. Whereas moths don't care. They're like, they just get they'll fly in your mouth if they feel Human like it. They <laughs> suck. Because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed. Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. Oh. Why isn't she? Can't quite. <laughs> she won't go over there. Am I doing something wrong? Okay, I guess I just wasn't ju jumping right. I don't <laughs> really hope there aren't actual snails in those shells. Oh, have you ever trodden on a snail with like bare feet? Ugh. <laughs> Getting Twilight Princess vibes from the combat. Ow. Uh, is that Zelda? I've never played the Zelda games. Whee. Float can be Oh yeah, we well, no, we've been float we've been floating this whole time. You'll float too! You'll float too uh Oh. <laughs> we're we're no longer floating. <laughs> uh do you think we need to use Oh Um, yeah, we're gonna have to get up there, aren't we? She seems like she floats a little too late. Dodge while jumping. Oh, oh, no, that still didn't help us. <laughs> Butterflies are dopey flyers too, whereas moths would, yeah, that's what I mean, they just come straight at you, they, they suck. I really hate moths. I really do. Maybe from up here then? No, yeah, no, no, it's still not a good idea to do that. Okay. Don't quite understand. I guess if you don't think you're not going to be able to quite make the jump, but let's try and see if we can float down from, from here. No, we're not going to make that. Hmm. We have royalty here in the States, it's the Kardashians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, again, another one that I just, I'm just not fussed by in the slightest. Hmm. How the hell, am I missing something? No way I'm going to make that jump. Oh, maybe almost. Double jumping that she but she doesn't double jump, that's the thing. Oh no oh, hang on. Oh hang on. Is that a triple jump? For a second, okay, okay, hang on. She can kind of keep jumping. Okay, let's try that then. Okay, wasn't aware that she just could keep jumping. That's pretty cool. They did not, I'm pretty sure they didn't say that. They just said about double jumping. They did not say anything about triple, quadruple, quintuple. <laughs> Maybe float and then, yeah. Can I float and then dash? Oh, you can. Uh, oh, I don't know, maybe. Oh, who are you? Ah, oh, it's you again, Alice. You may approach. Oh. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners. And I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Okay. Pepper them up if they do. They need Pepper. spice. And you're just the dish, a girl, to season them for me. 
You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? <laughs> Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Just listen to the oink. Just listen to the oink. <laughs> you have just obtained the Duchess's Piglet Edition Pepper Grinder. Spice up your foes. Prepare savoury snouts. Can I s open this? No. It's a shame. Okay, listen for the oinks. That tree is glowing. Oh. Oh, interesting. Ow, cheese, get off of me. Oh, it's a gun. Nice. I am a fan. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, 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 we've run out of... There we go. Okay, I'm guessing it just runs on, like, timeouts, if you know what I mean. Like, it doesn't run out of batteries, it just kind of overheats. To... Ah, I can't remember how to use the friggin gun. Oh god. I've already forgot how to use the gun. Can someone please remind me? Ah, there we go. Okay, so it, I, it just wasn't working. But I was definitely pressing that and it wasn't working. Oh, uh, oh okay, no it really is a, a snout. Throughout every domain, keep an ear out for snouts. Enter aiming mode and shoot the snout with the pepper grinder. Once the snout is full of pepper, it will reveal parts and collectibles. Okay. Get out of here. Oh, it's roses. I was wondering what I was collecting. Right. Kirsten's got a new toy. <laughs> hey, Daniel, how's it going? RS to toggle aim. Oh, yeah, no, I was already kind of aiming anyway. Fill that baby full of pepper! Okay, and then he's gonna show us. Oh no, he's just. He's leaving. Okay. Why would he willingly go there? <laughs> he's like, well, I'm full of pepper, might as well just be eaten, I guess. Um. Oh, unless he's gonna unlock that little door, because there was a little door in there, wasn't it? I keep getting hiccups randomly. You open the door. Thank you so much for the snout. Now go away. <laughs> Sounds like something my daughter said to me. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, "Can you?" Uh... Oh, what's it? She said. She said, "Can you bring me something? Why is this glowing? Can I not pick this up?" Oh, oh. Um. Oh yeah. She was like, "I've, I've finished my food." So I was like, "Okay." So I came and, and got like her plate because she was like chilling out in her room. And I was like, okay, thanks. And she was like, thanks, now leave the room. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll just piss off then, shall I? <laughs> she's, um, she gets very funny about, like, she doesn't like people watching her while she's, like, playing with her toys. Um, she gets, like, really embarrassed, which I think is really sweet. So, uh, yeah, so if she's trying to kind of, like, relax and, and like, play with her toys, like, you can't watch her because she just can't enjoy herself. So yeah, so she wasn't trying to be rude, she was just basically being like, can you leave so that I can carry on playing? Can I hear another one? Ah! There we go. Oh. 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 <laughs> Stupid. 
stupid bolt of flies. Or oh, bolt of flies, like butterflies. Got it. idiot kids man is so blind yeah she's she's usually very polite but yeah sometimes she just um yeah she's just very blunt and um she doesn't quite sort of realize that what she's saying is maybe comes across as rude so we have to kind of explain like you can't talk to people that way but you know she's still little she's still understanding you know manners and things so we give her the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Where do I get over there? Fantastic stream, gonna go to bed. Good night and remember, uh, blah, blah, blah. stay hydrated. Yes, I shall. Thank you so much, Shadowstar, for hanging out with us. Enjoy your, enjoy your sleep. Have good dreams. Good dreams. So do I. How do I get over there? Ah. Oh no. Ah, hey, 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 there we go, guys. I did the thing. Finish your suit, girls. Oh, what is that? Turtle ball. Ball turtle thing. Where are you coming from? Music's still playing. I think I've missed. Ah. Oh, don't fall down. There we go. There we go. Right. Keep an ear out for snouts. I don't hear any. Can I shoot this though? What does it say? The the mock turtle lost at sea. Aww. Right, there's got to be a snout around here somewhere. I think I could... No, that's where I was before, wasn't I? Ah, I see ya. Oh, how do I get back over there? There we go. Oh, look at me. Bloody... I'm just so good at this game. Alice can basically blink like Corvo Atano. He, she can, yeah. That's why I like her. Just one more day of work and then I'm off to South Africa for two weeks. Equal parts excited to see my friends and get the hell away from work. Been a crap week. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it's been crap. But that sounds exciting. Did you used to live there? How can you have a... Uh, how can your friends live there? Is it? Did you move away? Like, I need to know. I need to know the deets. The best Alice Christine de Bell. I don't know who that is. Oh, did it unlock... So I don't think we were supposed to be able to get over there, you know, guys. But we did it anyway because we are amazing. Oh. Uh, here. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> Weird sounds came out. Oh. Oh, I'd rather have died. <laughs> then I won't have to go all the way back again. Ugh. Ugh. Effort, you know. Lived there for 28 years of my life. Moved here in June. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, I'm really excited for you. I hope you have a fantastic time. It's always nice to kind of return home if you've, like, moved away. I mean, I wouldn't know because I've never... I've lived here my whole life, so I wouldn't know. But um, I can imagine how difficult that must be when you have friends, which, again, I don't. Um, but even if I moved away and was, like, away from my family, I would, um, I would struggle with that, so... I can imagine how nice that is going to be for you, my lord. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that one. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
It's just slime now. Ew. Oh, they're like the little... The, the, what is it? The little evil curses from Spirited Away that Haku has. From the, the seal. The sealed curses. You know what I mean? Anyone want to know what I mean? <laughs> Otherwise, I just sound like I'm a crazy person. Oh, oh, oh there's more of them. Oh. Ew. You made a really gross sound then. That was really gross. I jump to that, do you think? What's the reason? What's the reason? Only uh, one of my friends knows I'm coming. His cousin, which is also my friend, has no idea what's happening. Wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, I hope you're gonna have a great time. It's gonna be, f sounds amazing. Still need to try and figure out what to do for my birthday. I'm so like, I'm bothered by it. I'm like, ugh. Because it's, it's a big one, guys, and I'm not excited about it. Let's just say that. <laughs> I'm not excited about it. I feel old. And, uh, yeah. And so I'm just tr trying not to think about it. And um, But, yeah, my, my partner wants me to, wants us to do something. Because, it's again, it's a big one. So, um, he's like, yeah, we should go do something. But it's just, it's just at a really awkward time. It's, like, midweek. Um, you know... Like, we can't take my daughter out of school or anything and go on a holiday or anything like that. So it's just like, just, I don't know. Just, you know, I just don't want to, I just don't want to think about it. <laughs> Come on. Yoi! But yeah, um, let me know if there's anything that you think I should go do. Anything in the UK. Something that preferably doesn't cost too much money because I haven't got any. Take my PS4 with me so we can finally have a gaming evening. Oh, gaming nights with friends. Miss that. The mock turtle? He was lost at sea. You can't talk to him about him that way. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, over there maybe? No, that's the way I just came from, wasn't it? Ah, oh, maybe up here. There we go. We got it. Oh. Oh, hello, child. Come back. Oh. Dodge. What was that? Dodge something. I always forget to dodge. And I always forget to block as well. But I'm not doing too bad with my dodging skills. It's these bloody bolter flies that are a pain in the ass. Just try and shoot. That. Get rid of that. Get rid of these. Ah, really itchy nose. Wee. What are the bottles for? They're just for collectibles, or they're actually a reason? What is the reason? Uh, am I missing something? I still hear squishy sounds. Yeah, I think I'm still supposed to be fighting something, maybe. I'm just running away. I'm just like, sorry, don't have time for... Oh, there we go. There we go. Get rid of you. Wait for the, the death music to stop. There we go. Oh! Hollow Eve. So read this as your life depended on it, because... Oh, read this as your life depended on it, because it does. Okay. Ra uh, gather these pearly whites to prevent your premature arrival before the pearly gates. My friends can use the choppers and you'll improve your weapons capacity. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Give me 150 teeth to upgrade your Vorpal Blade. Sure. Sounds great. Sounds fantastic. Okay, so we have a use for the teeth. It's just a number curse. I'm sure you won't change. No, I know I won't change that much, but like, I don't know. I just... All of a sudden, I just feel like I'm very old. I feel like I'm just, I don't know, just feel like there's things that 
I wanted to achieve that I haven't achieved and I feel like I'm starting to look old and I don't know, I just feel like I'm just freaking out a little bit. It's a woman thing, I guess. Bloody men, you just get better with age. Honestly. Oh, there she goes. Oh, why do I have such a... I feel like I've got a fluffy nose. There we go. Oh, I've just realised she's got a little skull on her bow. That's super cute. Oh. Oh, blimey. Oh, no. Back we go, then. I do not like these squelching sounds. Do not like these squelching sounds at all. Why do I feel like we're edging towards a boss fight here? Ooh, ah, ooh, maybe the Mad Hatter. We got teapots. Oh, Jesus. What are you? Mad cat. Okie dokie. Oh, wow, that's blood. That is full on blood. Where'd you go? There we go. Oh, I think I just cut his head off. Alice can dodge enemy attacks. Yep, I gathered that. RB to dodge at any time, even while jumping. Nice. Oh, nice. Slow down time, always good. Yep, cut his head off too. Nice. Oh my god, what just happened? Wily one, isn't he? I wouldn't mess with me if I were you. Do you know who I am? Alex, motherfucking Wonderland. That's her last name, right? <laughs> Whoopsie doo. Hi, I dodged. some sort of madcap king or something I get it can be a difficult birthday it was my 30th recently and I hated it yeah <laughs> who the fuck is Alice <laughs> who is this bitch ew wait a minute isn't that one of the like robots from that the castle in the sky Oh, lost and don't know where to go. Try using shrink where the violets grow. While shrunk, shrink, while shrunk shrink sense will reveal hidden paths and clues. Okay, sure. Do I need to... Oh, what is happening? Do... Oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay. I think it was trying to eat me. That's what was happening. Oh! Wait a minute, there was a... I swear I just saw a door. I did! There we go. Interesting. So that's what it meant. About the, the hidden door. Or hidden things. I thought it meant going to the flowers and it would show me something hidden. No, they just tried to eat me. <laughs> Ah! Oh, there she goes, a little creepy big head child. There we go. It could have happened that way, Alice. You remember poor Mr. <laughs> Died, didn't he? Dr. Wilson injects spontaneous combustion with I cast Mr. Davis. Spontaneous combustion? Oh, 
Boink. Give me the grub. Do gold is gold teeth like more like gives you like twice the amount or are gold teeth is something completely different? Because it didn't seem like it actually gave me that many more. Oh, okay, here we go. Some sort of clockwork city, floating city. Yep, no, I saw it, Alice. Thank you very much. <laughs> For some reason, something to do with clockworks, really starting to ring a bell about when I last played this for some reason. <clears throat> 30s are the worst. Guys, you're not giving me much confidence here. <laughs> you're supposed to be upselling it so I'm not freaking out. <laughs> Hatter Industries, interesting. Hatter's oh, okay, so it's the name, Hatter. Almost as I remember it. Appearances, as you know better than most, can be deceiving, Alice. Much has changed since your last visit. Dr. Bumby says change is constructive, that different is good. Different denotes neither bad nor good, but it certainly means not the same. Find the Hatter, Alice. He knows more about different than you. But does he know more about the difference between bad and good? Oh, uh-oh. Making friends, Alice. You're as randomly lethal and entirely confused as you ever were. <laughs> I've managed without you so far, Cat. Return to whatever hovels home to you. I'll call if I need you. Predictably rash. It's not a question of if, Alice. It's when. Now hold on. And as they say, shut up. <laughs> so typical. Okay. And we're still alive, apparently. Genuinely enjoying my 30s compared to all previous decades. You are leveling up, my queen. Thank you, Wench. <laughs> Ooh, new outfit. Love it. I've made more graceful entrances. I suppose I must be grateful nothing's broken. Some vents need to be activated by turning valves. While on the vent, you can rotate Alice. To exit the vent, press space bar or simply move away from it. Well, you know I'm playing with an Xbox controller. Why would you tell me that? I love the new dress. Oh my goodness, I want them all. Ah, okay. Oh, I love her tights too. Love it. Oh, wait, hang on. I hear the oinks. Are you up here? Here. Sounds like it's coming from over there, but it don't seem like I can get there yet. Lizzie, remember when a burst of steam blew your dress up around your neck? Just outside Harrods it was. Just outside Harrods. had been laundered. Definitely ready-made cosplays online. Very cool boots. I'll have to have a look. He's a bit of an ass, isn't he? <laughs> oh. 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 Ah! Bitch! She got a bit overly eager there. Be careful, Alice. Oh, we got to be careful where we're washing to here. Okay, you know what? You guys are getting shot at. Okay, nice. <laughs> My nose. What's this? Okay. Oh, I like the little bug. They're cute. Bulb bugs. Oh, and then some dead dodos. Dead as a dodo. Ow. Ouchie. Oh, 
I'm getting so distracted by my nose. <laughs> There's definitely a, a bit of fluff or something on my nose. I, I feel like I can see it. It's driving me mad. Mad as a hatter. Oh, we're being raided, I've just seen. Thank you so much, Bad Kitto. The Scots are coming! <laughs> Grab your capers! Oh, thank you so much for the raid. Sorry, you probably came in right as I was like, like scratching. I've got a bit of fluff on my nose and it's driving me mad. How are you, Bad Kitto? Thank you so much for the stream. I appreciate it. And yes, this game is amazing. And doesn't it still look beautiful? Um, I don't, again, I don't know if they've re remastered it or something, but I think it looks fantastic. Ah, right, now we're going over here. Thank you so much for the raid. What game are you playing? I didn't see. You better have physics hair turned on. Oh, maybe. It did say something about physics earlier on. I wasn't sure what it meant. I mean, I, I kind of had a feeling as to what it meant, but... Um, no one be too bothered with video. Where was that? Where did we see that, guys? Post-process. It was somewhere. I feel like it was turned on, I think. It must be. It, it looks like it's... Yeah, it looks like it's doing a pretty good thing. <laughs> Arrive at the stream. Hello, hello, hello! Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's doing the right thing. It looks like it's moving the way it's supposed to move. So I'm guessing it's turned on. But yeah, well, thank you so much for the raid. And thank you so much for uh, for coming over, guys. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm Kirsten Rhea, if you don't know already. I play a lot of horror games. I was very kindly gifted um, this game. That was awful. I was very kindly gifted this game. I had it in my wish list um, because uh, I saw that it, it had like come onto Steam and I was like, oh my god, I loved this game. Um, and it was very kindly gifted to me. So, um, oh, I'm not going to make that. <laughs> Formerly of what culture? Currently of watch mojo? Yes! Jonah Bob. Jonah Bob. I, indeed. Indeed he do. So you, you know your stuff. Um, yes. <laughs> um, as well as, you know, doing my own stuff as well. Definitely remind me of Lost uh, in Random. Lost in Random. Um, but I didn't see Bat Kitto. What were you? What were you playing? Sorry, I completely missed what you were playing. Okay, so you could do it three times, about three times. So let's remember that, guys, for the future reference. Die, you gross little booger. <laughs> I used to do freelance video editing for what culture, so I know for- Oh, there you go! Hello! Well, thank you very much! I hope I, you never had to edit any of mine. I, I would make so many mistakes. I I still make mistakes now. It's- I just- it's sometimes my brain, it just says things that it's not supposed to say. And then I'll- they'll go back and they're like, you knew you were supposed to say, like, um, like, rapture, and instead you said, like, bunny or something. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, and I'm like, oh, I don't know why I said that. God, I'm so sorry if you keep seeing me into my nose. I have such a, it, it's right on the end of my nose. Something is tickling me. It's driving me insane. This is super annoying, so I am going to shoot them. They're like little boogers. Look at them. They remind me of um Hoggle from uh, Labyrinth. Oh, I missed all of those items. Oh, I did not know that. that oh, God. I keep missing the cues. Oh, I mean, I did dodge, just not in the right way. Not in the right direction. As I did there. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, I thought we were having a little boss fight then for a second. A labyrinth game would be amazing. It would be good, actually. That would be fun. I think it would be very similar to this, though. Like, you'd have to kind of make it dark, you know what I mean? You can just have it, like, I don't know. I wouldn't want to play a labyrinth game that was, like, fun and cheery, you know? I'd want it to be like this, which is kind of, yeah, would kind of be, I guess, the same as this, really. 
so is there much point? Is there much point? This is Alice Madness Returns. It is, it is. Welcome, welcome. I don't know if there was one before this, was there? Or was there? Because they sort of reference a lot of stuff and I don't know if they're just kind of referencing like the story of Alice or if they're referencing like a previous game. I hear you. I hear you. Where are you? We're over there somewhere. Where? Where are you? Little pig? Little pig, little pig! Gotta be up there somewhere. Because I can hear him. I can hear him. Ah! Oh, how do I get over there? Can I jump and then shrink? Because I can't... Hmm. How does one do that then? It's in the extra content tab on the main screen. Oh, they chose the creepiest. Oh, yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> it's a really creepy. Um. Yeah, I can't quite. Um. Did I jump here before I was meant to? Because I can't go back now. I don't see the friggin' pig anywhere. Okay. Oh, okay. No, we made it. We made it. Nice. Okay. There we go. Never mind. Didn't think we were gonna make that, so. Come back here, I'll. Come back here, little pig. I want some bacon. I do hear him. I hear him. Uh, oh, there you are. Okay. Wasn't expecting you, <laughs> you to look like that. Never closed. Never looked. You gonna explode? Oh. Oh, okay. You disappeared into a little black hole, I guess. <laughs> going to be lurking. Time to pick my kids up from school. No problem, Ghost Rider. Thank you so much for uh, for being here anyway. Um, enjoy getting your kids. I hope they, they had a good day at school. Oh, my bloody nose. Right, okay. I'm not quite sure how I would get over there, but... Oh, okay. We'll wait, we'll wait. Yeah, I really like this outfit. It's like a little steampunk one. I like this. I prefer this one. Have a great game. Yeah, have a great game and stream. Thank you so much! See, it has a has a skull. That can't be. That can't be a bad sign, surely. Can't be some sort of omen. Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought I'd run out of pepper. But I have not. I dodged. Come on then. Come on then. Yeah, chopped your friggin' head off, you little booger. Ah, oh, it's just a memory. Bricks are rocks, Alice. A brick house, like a brick, a brick. Water, is impervious to fire, weather, and the indecency. So, from what I'm saying, I just wanted to ask you know, the, the offer to spend 20,000 whole points to get a signed print. Is that an old offer, or can you still? I can still do it, yeah, I've still got some prints. Um, so yeah, that is something I could definitely do. Just please make sure you send me like a whisper or um, like a, a DM on Twitter or Instagram or something and just remind me um, as well as send me your address. But I can definitely do that. That is not a problem. And then I can let you know what prints I have available still. And you can pick which one you would like me to send over to you. That is not a problem. Feel free. Feel free. Ooh, boop, boop. Oh, do I hear another pig? Yes. Yes, I do inside again I'm guessing oh oh you guys a bad time to glitch out on me game squirting 
welchy sounds going on. Ah, you're in here again, aren't you? I hear ya. Where are you? I hear ya. There you are, you little, you little oinker. No problem, Shadow. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Just again, just make sure you remind me and uh, send me a message as to where to send it to. Though loving and much loved, is too old to be a flame. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I love her boots. I, I think I have boots like that, so at least I know if I ever did do this cosplay, I've I've got the boots. It's a dwarven tea teapot. I want. Sure. That sounds better. Ooh. You're a feisty one. Get over here. Oh, I managed to complete uh, Ghostwire Tokyo the other day, guys. I managed to get back into the game and uh, figure out how to play it again. It took a long time to figure out how to play it again, but I did it. Um, it, was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I, I wasn't too happy with the ending. I felt like it was. I mean, it was, it was sweet, but it would have been nice to kind of see like the aftermath. You know, like I just feel like sometimes you need a bit of closure from games, but sometimes games don't want to give you that closure. I guess this is when to go. go. There we go. Nice. Okay. So shoot them with the pepper and then stab them in the face. Oh, there's more of them. Okay, I'm gonna shoot this guy first. Oh god, he's shooting out tea now. He's shooting tea. Something. Sh oh no, it's not him shooting tea. Someone's shooting tea. Who's shooting tea? Oh, I thought I was falling. Oh, it's him. It's a note after the credits, and they. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. It was sort of like. Oh, yeah, we'll fix it and everyone will go back to normal and they'll be alive again. It was sort of like, okay, well, I kind of wanted to see everyone, like, alive and sort of just see how he was then having to live his life knowing that he'd saved everyone, do you know what I mean? Because it was sort of like, they were like, oh, no one will even know that they died and everything will go back to normal and you'll be the only one who remembers. And I'm like, I just kind of want to know how that affects him, you know? The long <laughs> just need a bit of closure. These guys are not fun. Not a fan of these eye pots. Ah, but I hit it at the same time. Here. They're in friggin' unison. Go, go. 
Alright, go. I was too busy trying to hit this friggin' one. Turn around! Ugh. Okay, I am on my last rose here. Taking me down then. It's all in the reflexes, baby. Something like, I, in real life, I definitely have, but in video games, not so much. It's because I get distracted. It's because I'm like, I'm, I'll be trying to take one person down and I'm too busy looking at somebody else. Oh, hang on a second. Did it say to contact the cat? He's obsessed with time. Find him, or your own time may be short. Yes, sir. Really? No teeth? No teeth for that one? Okay, I thought I was gonna go back up then for a second. I was like, that's that's really sucky. Oh, it is! Oh, no! <laughs> I was too busy debating what might happen. And it did. It did happen. Can I go through this tea? I feel like the tea's, the tea's gonna be hot. Yeah, no, that's, that's, don't go through the tea. That's, that will kill you. <laughs> tea is for drinking, not for bathing. Right, there we go. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Oh, you son of a bitch. <sighs> How the hell? She's not fast enough, she can't sprint. to do this we all know how much you like tea oh yes i love tea tea is my favorite drink <laughs> yeah if you want to drink grass how the hell am i supposed to get over there she's not quick enough okay that <laughs> Oh, good. Messed that up completely. Rush yourself off, girl. The hatter shouldn't see you at your best after all. Am I missing something? Oh, hang on. There's like a light on the bottom. Do you think I could shoot it? <laughs> I was going to shoot that little thing underneath. I didn't know if that was going to do anything. Uh, oh. hmm. Hmm. oh, here. There we go. Don't go in the sea! Steampunk tea is definitely a vibe. Can you shrink and jump between the tea? Oh. Very strange sounds going on. I don't think you can actually jump when you're shrunk. Can't jump when you like shrink down, because that's what I was trying to do earlier on. Yeah can't jump when you've shrunk. You can't drunk when you've shrunk. Can't jump when you've shrunk. It's kind of a difficult thing to say. Okay, okay, so it does close. 
but it closes slowly, so it's fine. Ooh. Started up the elevator. Can't get back up there anyway, even if I wanted to. What did I just. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> what did I just do? Oh. Oh! Oh, okay. This must have not been open. Whoa! Speedy. You may have already said this, but where should I message you on the print? Anywhere. Anywhere, Shadow. Um, you can message me on here. You can message me on Instagram. You can message me on Twitter. Whatever is easiest for you. Oh, that's a bomb. Some walls and floors are weak and can be destroyed. Place the clockwork bomb near the weak surface. Detonate the clockwork bomb to destroy the weak surface. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be a little like, time limit thing, but... Just add it into our inventory. Put that in my pocket, apparently. Oh, I got really bad hiccups. Ah, here we go. Ah! Oh. oh, that's not what I meant to do. I want to see it. And boom! Cute. Love it. Do I have a few of these? Do I have an endless supply? No, that's not that's not cute. Go, yeah. I think I have an endless supply. You're not going where you're supposed to go. There we go. Not very accurate, but you know, does the trick. <laughs> Eventually. Ooh, what does that say? Oh, lost and found, was it? Yeah, lost and found. I'm lost. Oh, here we go. Little burning building. Good. Oh, this is my house. Lovely. You did it in time. You did it in the time it took me to write it. Oh, sorry. Our lovely library was a fire trap. Yeah, looks like it. A conflagration waiting to happen. A conflagration? That is a long word I have never heard. Oh. I, I think I collected a key. Be sure to harvest enemies. Harvest. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, that is a lot of them. Alice's health is low. Hysteria becomes available. Good. Enter hysteria by pressing enter. Oh, no, what's it? Okay. While in hysteria, Alice cannot be hurt. Will inflict more damage. Be careful, hysteria only lasts for a certain amount of time. Right. So it's giving me this many enemies in the hope that they will kill me. <gasps> oh, she looks so cool. Have you noticed how her hair's gone back to being short? Isn't that interesting? How this is supposed to, I guess, be like the normal version of her. That's really cool. And I guess this is supposed to be the more calmed down, imaginary version of her. That's really cool. I loved that. That was really cool. <laughs> that's definitely a, that's definitely on my Halloween list now. Hysteria version of uh, Alice. Enter aiming mode by pressing T. Shoot the switch. Okay. Why is it giving me instructions via? I guess it is on the Steam, but. <laughs> For a second, I was like, why am I shooting? Is this the right thing? Because it was a clock. But uh, that was correct, yes. Oh. Oh, okay. No. No. What's going to be awake? No. No. Bad dream. Oh. Who are you? A blasted good night. Hatter, I would be oh. leaving you in a decrepit condition. What? what? Not in pieces. Oh, to you. What's happened here? Definitely looks you like Hoggle. 
and some parts are missing. Missing indeed, though things being what they are. I barely missed their missing. As to what's happened, oh. you should know that better than I. It's your place after all. I know my place. When did you ever know your place? Or how to keep it? Now what's going on? Ah, that's going on. Round and up and down into my ears and through my eyes, not my nostrils, down my gullet and riding in my cap. Papa was exceedingly fond of trains. I don't like them much. You won't like this one at all. Nothing like when Mock Turtle was in charge of the looking light line. Uh -huh. This railroad's a bloody shambles. The stink is ferocious. The light blinding. The noise hellacious. Oh, quite, Tata. I get the idea. A bad train. Oh. It's upside down, Alex. Is that inmates run the asylum. Him? No, thanks. And worst of all, <laughs> I've left dealers. Tragic. If I do help, will you help me in return? Tragic. Oh if I had one, bind my limbs and toss them into the chute. Machines will do the rest. Be on your way now. That's a good girl. <laughs> Best way out is through the crock face. The what face? <laughs> Best way out is through old cock face over there. It's not an image that I want to imagine. Oh, so they've put a whole bunch of Monty Python on uh, Netflix now, in the UK anyway. I don't know if it's the same for anyone else. Um, but oh my god, it's so freaking funny. You know in uh, Life of... I think it's Life of Brian, when they're talking about... He's like, oh, Big Nose or whatever, and they're, they're arguing about it. And he's like, you're not so bad yourself, conk face. Oh my god, that line gets me every time. It's so freaking funny. Oops. Oh, did that open that? It's very good. I've been watching a whole bunch of um, Flying Circus because it's just... Oh. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll have to get back to that. No, maybe not. It said find his limbs. Fly. Fly. Yeah, I did that. Wants me to fly over there? Fly over where? Right, so it comes down, but then the moment I get off, it comes straight back up again. Hmm. Let's not make these easy. There's no way I'm going to go over there in time. No way. No way. He said he knows something about time. Can he slow down time? Because this doesn't seem... Hellacious. Hellacious is a very good word. I like that. Does it slow down time if you... In shrink mode? No. Maybe I'm missing something. Hmm. Do you want me to blow that up? Yeah, I get that. Hmm. missing something. Definitely feels like I need to... Hmm. So there's no way I'm going to make this. bunny on it. Is that what it means? Ah! Ha ha ha! There we go. So not just, he's just uh, cheeky, you know? Cheeky. We will remember that in future. Ow. 
Oh, I can still hear it. There we go. Kill Slytherin. My father. Smelling and regurgitating. Good, good. Assembli assemblage for destruction. Something. I get that one. And you say you're not clever. <laughs> I have my moments, Scott. I have my moments. Umbrella! Oh, okay. It was saying I could get the umbrella. Press E while focused to block. There we go. Oh, I need to figure out what I'm guessing maybe it's B. Oh no, B is... Holy moly. I don't know what block is. I don't know how to use the umbrella. What's T? I don't know what T is. Okay, we're going to have to... Clockwork bomb, vorpal blade, jump float, hobby horse, dodge, focus. Where's block? There is no block. What are you talking about? I mean, in my head, it would be... It would be uh, what lock-on is, but it is not. Block, block, block. block. Didn't it say while well, focus you could use umbrella? Is that what it was? Focus? Use it. Use umbrella. Oh, it's A. Here we go. Right, there we go. Thank you. Thank you very much, Christopher. <laughs> First time chatting, it was definitely uh, it was definitely needed. Thank you. Ah, there we go, there we go. Thank you very much, Christopher. I appreciate that. We know what we're doing. We're, we're pretty good. thing is though it gets stuck in your head it's, it's very catchy but it's just it's not a good song Oi! There we go, there we go. I keep forgetting to actually shoot him
It's always the most annoying songs that get stuck here. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Exactly. And then you hate yourself for singing them and you're like, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think so. I do hear a piggy though, I think. What is this? Oh! It's a little teacup! That does not look safe at all! Oh. Worker is a lab worker. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. That, yeah, he, he, he has got a point. <laughs> so, a boss fight coming on. Or oh, just these annoying freaks. Oh, okay. You can't be attacking me in a cutscene. That is not fair. <laughs> way to do it because otherwise they are super oh no his eyeball <laughs> a good worker is a live one <laughs> that not stuck in anybody else's head 
A live worker isn't necessarily a good worker. I'm alive and I work and I definitely feel dead inside. <laughs> Maybe just a worker is a worker and then you die. Yeah, until you die. And then that's it. You just work and you die. That's that's life. Oh. Okie dokies. How do I get up there is the question. That's a very good question. Hmm. Oh, is that a... Is that a magic mirror? No. Well, that was a magic mirror. I feel like there was definitely a film that was called Alice Through the Looking Glass, wasn't it? What is with you? What is with you? What is with you? Uh... I'm with... Game? What is with you, Corch? Oh, hang on. What's this? Aha. No, this doesn't seem like this would be the case. Sure. No. Ah, here we go. Right. There we are. There we go. We're getting somewhere. We did a thing, we did a thing. Might want to wait for that. That that is gonna be a very hot panel that has just risen up there. I hope she's got insulated boots. Is that coming back down? I'm hoping so. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to get that while it's get it while it's down. Yeah, that was the Tim Burton sequel. Tim, Bur Tim Burton sequel. He he did a sequel. Was it animated, like like a cartoon, not like a Tim Burton sort of thing? Because I feel like I saw it and it creeped me out, but I don't remember much about it. I might have to try and look it up. Like you know when it's like you you could don't know if it was real or if it was just like a very vivid dream that you just always remembered. I have that a lot. There's a lot of things that I felt, thought happened and it turned out it was just a dream I had. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is gonna be warm. Ah, my toesies, my toesies. No, no, no. <laughs> my toesies. <laughs> Got a bit too eager there, you see. extra jumps. Good measure. Oh, something's shouting. Oh, it's you. You, it's you. I love early Tim Burton. The Alice movies are meh. Maybe that's why I don't remember much about them. Where are you? Flip the lever oh. to cool the metal. Okay. Oh, that's, that's all he's given us. Though I did enjoy Miss Peregrine. Yeah, I kind of enjoyed Miss Peregrine's a little. I don't think I made it all the way through though, that's the thing, so I obviously didn't enjoy it too much. It was okay, but not enough to uh, to keep my attention, clearly. Oh, he's going off again, guys. Guys, sorry. Ah, it's over there. Thank you for pointing that out. Hoi, hoi, hoi. Maybe I enjoyed it because, of, yeah, Eva Green. <laughs> there was a 1980 animated Alice through. Yeah, that's what I mean. I feel like I've seen like an animated one, but maybe not much of it. Like, 
like it wasn't very well oh like maybe it wasn't very well known like it was one of those weird sort of knockoffs if you know what i mean like you know they have like those weird kind of disney knockoffs i feel like it was maybe something like that that i watched because i don't remember it much but i distinctly remember having dreams about it Okay, so I've cooled the metal. Oh! Is that the turtle? I hear a piggy. I hear a piggy. See the piggy? I hear a piggy. Oh, can I go down there now? Maybe he's down here somewhere. I can go down here now. Yes, I can. Okay. Oh no, there's squelching. Get out of here, baby goo demon. happen. Just get to the next bit, I guess. Just get to the next bit. I've just googled the animated film and Mr. T was the Jabberwocky. In fact, just finished watching Coronation Street. Nice! What's happened so far? Oh, a lot has happened. A lot has happened, Jordan. Um, we found um, the Hatter. He's kind of quite literally in pieces. We're trying to find his body parts so that we can piece him back together. I do like the uh, Cheshire Cat, he's, he's kind of cute. So it is strange, yeah. I mean, it's Alice in Wonderland, so it's not really sane. Let's just say that. I think I'm supposed to shoot in the eye, I reckon. I hear a piggy. Where? Ah, there you are, there you are, there you are. I see you, I see you. I feel you for a feather. Ding. Oh. I thought you were showing me where to go. That's not the way to go. <laughs> Have you played Stray? Oh my god, yes, Croc, I did. So I played Stray and I had my daughter with me. And um, I was like, I, I, to be fair, I didn't actually know what Stray was about. I just saw the, the little clips of obviously running around as a as a cat. So I was like, oh, come come watch this. You'll like this game. It's about cats. She loves cats. So we're, we're playing the game. We're loving it. And then the friggin' parasites come out of nowhere. And I didn't realize that it's technically classed as like a horror thriller sci-fi game. So <laughs> she was like freak. We were both like ah! screaming our heads off. She was freaking out. I was just like, I'm so sorry. Like, I didn't know. I did not know. I wouldn't have had her watch it. But like, she was okay after that. Like, I told her that they were like, um, just like fleas, like alien fleas. But, um, oh my god, it's such a good game. I like played through it, completed it, and then I played through it again to try and get a few of the um, like achievements and stuff, like the, the tapes and just like some of the unlockables and collectibles. Um, but it's such a good game. Oh my god, it's such a good game. It's fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. 
Was that another piggy pig? No. My cat was enthralled. She kept watching. Yeah, it's Corvo Woods. He could not give two, two shits. I was just like, look, look, look. And he was just like, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, accidental trauma, I know. She's she's fine about it now, but um, like she finds, she thought, cause I, I think one of them stuck onto um, like the cat's butt. And so I was like, oh no, it's on my butt. And just kind of made it like a joke. And then she was kind of over it then and she wasn't too bothered. But uh, yeah, for a second I was like, oh my God, I've just traumatized my poor child. Is that maybe over there? That looks way too far. Surely not. Surely. Ah, there we go. Just going to grab a snack, no problem. Will the alien fleas get me in my sleep, mummy? <laughs> Scott, don't! Okay, what did I do? I did something, I did something. This one. Was that one there before? No. He's, he's on there enough. He's not even touching it, but it's fine. I keep meaning to complete the game, but I keep getting distracted by Gran Turismo. Oh, interesting. I've never been a fan of racing games or like driving games. Stray's way better, in my opinion. <laughs> You're missing out. Let's hope so too. I feel like that actually happened. No, she does get quite nervous about things, but um, not with stuff like that. Like if I tell her like, no, 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 it's fine. Like she's okay, but she gets very nervous about like um, like cuts and things. So if she like gets like a wound, like say she like gets a scratch or a bruise, like she'll have like a panic attack because she's like, is it gonna go away? Am I gonna be like this forever? And I'm just like, no, no, no. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, that is me. That was that was me as a child. So um, so at least I know how to deal with it and what to say to kind of help her feel better. But um, it is also kind of sad to be like, oh no, she's got like all of my badge traits. <laughs> Oh, you came out of nowhere, you little shit. Racing games are my bread and butter. Yeah, and that's what I mean. I think, you know, whatever works for you. Like, um, you know, if that's the sort of game that just gives you pure joy, then go for it, why not? But yeah, just racing games has just never been my, my, cup, my cup of coffee. Right, so we're up here. Now what, over here, looks like? Excess waste, the hatter's madness ends today. So who's taken over on oh some sort of mouse? Your presence here is unwelcome. Oh, it's you. We have a mission to complete. A good work, here is a live work. Some like the heart, but no one likes it this hard. <laughs> <laughs> This music sounds like no. The music from uh, Coraline, you know the the scene I'm talking about, the the um, the, uh, the the circus, the famous mouse circus. Oh, don't you shoot at me, you little shit! We 
going up anytime soon. Good. Right, now let me over there and let me kill that. Okay, that's not gonna happen apparently. Coraline is one of my favourite films. I love Coraline, it's a fantastic movie. I'm, I'm, I really want to show it to my daughter, but I feel like, again, it's just, it's got a couple, it's like, I know it's like kind of a kid's film, but I feel like maybe it's like an older kid's film. And I think you have to really kind of judge, is this going to traumatise my child? Is this maybe a little bit too kind of creepy? Like maybe of the animation, do you know what I mean? And I just think there's definitely some moments in Coraline that I don't think she'll get along with. So uh, I'm waiting for her to maybe get a little bit older and see how she goes. Um, because even when I put on... Um, I put on the labyrinth the other day and even that with like the puppets and stuff I was like these puppets are a lot creepier looking than I remember <laughs> so uh, she didn't seem to mind it too much but yeah I just think maybe uh, I might need to just wait a little bit longer till I show her Coraline Coraline is gorgeous that would be a killer cost but yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 it's on my list it's on my list don't worry it's on my list Famous mouse circus not ready. Oh, that was. Hey ho! Wow, cheese. Uh, that way, that way, no. Alice. The fun gang, the red things with the detachable limbs still creep me out. The fun. Yes! Exactly. Yeah, we were watching it and she was fine. And then it got to that bit and I was like, you know what? <laughs> this is a little bit. This is. This bit is. It's too messed up. This bit is still a bit that creeps me out. And then what was it the other day? We had something on the other day. Oh, we bought Pinocchio. We watched uh, the new Pinocchio. It's not very. It's not. It's not great. <laughs> it's okay. Like, especially for kids that haven't, like, seen it, it's okay. But the original, I think, is, is... The original, I think, is better, but the remake, I think, is maybe a little less traumatizing, a little less creepy. Um, and I say that because there's definitely some scenes, like, Monstro is, is nowhere near as um, scary in the remake um, as he is in the original. Um, but also, you know the scene where the kids turn into donkeys in, uh, in Pinocchio? The original is... Uh, is, um... It, that terrified me as a kid. Like, it, that traumatised me as a child. It is so creepy. Um, oh, I just hated it. I hated it. Um, and they really kind of must have realised that in the, re in the remake. Um, because they definitely kind of like calmed that down a little bit and made it a little less traumatizing um, and I guess a little more like fun um, but yeah the drunk scene in Dumbo yeah that's like an I think I don't know if it kind of traumatized me it just kind of like weirded me out I guess as a kid like and I just thought oh that wasn't very enjoyable but like yeah the the, the kids turning into donkey scene in uh, Pinocchio really freaked me out as a, as a kid <laughs> like a lot so uh yeah when we were watching the remake the other day i was like oh no like are they gonna have that in is it gonna be just as creepy as the original and i was i was really worried that my daughter was gonna be like traumatized but yeah it was it wasn't as bad as the original thank god so um so she didn't she, she, she was like oh she, she didn't really like the film that much to be honest um but uh yeah it, at least it didn't like kind of traumatize the poor girl that's good. <laughs> I watched the Pinocchio animated film as a kid where he was turned into a puppet in the most brutal way. What well, like I'm guessing not the Disney version. Maybe you maybe you watched the like Brothers Grimm version. <laughs> Heffalumps and Woozles and Winnie the Pooh was the first indication that the animated Disney did a lot of drug, yeah. <laughs> I 
Pinocchio and the Emperor of the Night, which sounds so sus. Yeah, that sounds very sus. Well, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to crush you. Okay. Ah, right, it's all stopped now. I'm not reaching that at all, am I? That's annoying. Are you going to watch Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio? I wasn't aware he was doing a Pinocchio, but um, I do really enjoy Guillermo del Toro, so probably, yeah. If he's doing a Pinocchio, I'll definitely watch it if it's gonna be a dark, creepy version. Subscribe to Disney Plus and has given me her login details. Nice. Gonna have a good look on. They, they do have some really good stuff on there, but to be honest, I mainly use, um, weirdly enough, Disney Channel to watch more of like the adult stuff. Like um, we've been loving uh, Solar Opposites, which if you like Rick and Morty, watch Solar Opposites. It's the same uh, same creator, Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon. I, I don't know if it's Dan Harmon, but it's definitely Justin Roiland. Um, but it's it's really good. It's really funny. It's really uh, it's very grown up. <laughs> a lot of adult content. It's it's more way more adult and in depth than um, than Rick and Morty, which I didn't think was possible until I watched Solar Opposites. So yes, if you like that sort of stuff, give it a watch. I really enjoyed it. He's got a new anthology series coming soon to Netflix. Looks really promising. Who? Justin Roiland or Guillermo del Toro? Oh my god, my nose, guys. I'm insane. Del Toro, nice. Yeah, I really enjoy uh, yeah, the Del Toro. I really don't want to have to fight you guys. But I'm gonna have to, aren't I? Drunken Turtle, how are you doing today? Ah, there's those arms I need. Oh yeah, we need to watch out for that. Oh, you're kidding me. Damn, I hate stuff like this. It reminds me of Croc. Do you remember there's like a really similar scene to this in the croc game oh man i hated it and the controls were so janky back then man i love that game but i hated it so much <laughs> oh hello rude Okay. 
Okay, yeah, no, I'm aware of the uh, the rat man. <laughs> it's like, careful, there's a, rat, there's a rat man around. Right, let's go get his arms back. Oh, there we go. Get his arms back, and then we just keep an eye on the time. Might have to finish up this chapter for today, or tonight, and, uh, carry on tomorrow guys let's see where we can get to where do I go how do I get back I can't go the way we came oh my god my nose I think that's like the same thing the turtle was in I don't understand why that's there where do I go now where do I go now? Oh, maybe down the trash chute? Yeah. Rubbish chute. Rubbish. <laughs> what was a moment in any video game that traumatised you? For me, personally, it would be the first time I played Batman Arkham Asylum go through Killer Croc's lair. Oh god, yeah, that's, Mobility that's such a scary a nice moment. Change. Expect no thanks until I'm completely reconstructed. No resting on laurels, <laughs> chiffonier. Chaise lounges, Ming folding oh, chairs, we're not giving them back. Uh, stools, uh, 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 stools. Uh, how do I get his legs? Where are his legs? I think I have to get his legs now. Oh God! <laughs> My nose is driving me mad. Is that a petrol station? I don't know where the drifter came up and bit my arm. Start to feel like flu symptoms ever since then. <laughs> uh oh. Is your name Leon by any chance? Okay, so we want to go maybe this way? Can we go this way? I hear you, little pig. Little pig, little pig. Let me in. There you are. Um, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a scene that traumatized me, um, but I think some of the games that really, 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 really scared me um, were Visage. Uh, I still I, I, maybe that's probably one that has, that has traumatized me because I've not gone back to that game and played it. Um, so yeah, I think Visage, Visage definitely uh, traumatized me. Oops. Um, and then I would have to say, uh, like, Condemned had a, like, has some really good jump scares in it. Um, the Medium had, uh, do you know what, actually, the Medium had some really good, uh, jump scares in it. And that did really scare me because it also had moths, which obviously I've got a huge phobia of. So that was not fun either. Um, I mean, it was fun because it's scary, like, in a good way. But then it also, like, as soon as I saw the moths, I was like, no, this is scary in, like, a different way. This is scary. There's fun scary, and then there's, like, no, I'm I'm going to cry scary. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, so maybe maybe that. How do I get over there, then? I'm not going to make that, am I? Oh, hang on. No, she will. She will. I underestimate Alice. I really do. I found the Pinocchio clip and popped it in the Discord. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll have to give it a watch. What would be a good horror game for me to get into the genre as I'm not really a horror fan? Um, I don't know. Um, maybe like the Resident Evil games because like it's horror, but I just, it's scary, but I wouldn't say it's like traumatizing scary. Do you know what I mean? Um, or like maybe even like games like this, you know, where it's just sort of like creepy. It depends on, on what scares you really. Um, because, you know, games like Visage, I feel like, would scare anyone because it's just terrifying. Like, it just builds up such suspense and the creep factor is really up there. Like, Mortuary Assistant, like, they're the, not the sort of games that you want to play. Um, but games like Resident Evil and Silent Hill, like, they're just kind of, they're scary because they kind of build up the tension. It's not like, not like scream out loud scary, you know what I mean? So they might be good ones to start with or, like, maybe start with the remakes because, if anything, I think the... Um, older games are scarier because the controls like didn't work as well so it just made you panic more so yeah I'd start with those if you haven't played them they're brilliant 
What did he say? I missed what the, uh, what he said. I jump at the stupidest things at times. <laughs> so the Mothman scares, yeah, the Mothman, well, I mean, I don't know. Like, maybe if there was a game about the Mothman, I'd probably be kind of creeped out because I'm guessing moths would be in it. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Um, but yeah, like the actual story of the Mothman doesn't creep me out too much because he looks more like an owl to me. He doesn't look like a moth. Might look into Resi 2. Resi 2 is a good one. Yeah, especially if you played the remake as well. That was um, It was a really good remake. Ah, it's over there. So glad you enjoyed I really did enjoy Mortuary System. Um, I was going to play the full one. I enjoyed the demo and I was going to play the full version. Um... But then I watched uh, Markiplier play it recently and um, it looked really confusing and really different to, to what was uh, in the demo and I, did, I don't know, it didn't look as enjoyable actually. So I'm glad I played the demo because the demo was a, a good amount of scary. Hmm. Is there a way to stop this? Because I can't quite shoot this... Uh Oh no, it is, it is, it is, it is. Oh no, I've got a time there. There we go. We got there eventually. Dad got scared at the live action Lion King when the hyenas came out running out of nowhere. Well, yeah, I mean, that would, I feel like. If someone just came out and of nowhere and, and, and jumped and screamed at you, that'd scare most people. You know, you could be the, the toughest guy in the world, but if someone comes out of nowhere and then jumps at you dressed up as a hyena, that sounds terrifying. I've only seen the demo. I have, yeah, the de I actually really enjoyed the demo, but the, the full game just looked really, like, I don't know, there's a lot more to it and a lot more of like a puzzle aspect, and I just thought that, that just seems like something I would struggle with. And I'd never get through the game because then I'd be struggling with the puzzles, but then I'd also be freaking out about the fact that, like, I was being hunted by some sort of demon and, like, yeah, I just, I, I don't think I ever would have made it through the, the whole game. There's a comedy movie where the jump scare comes out of nowhere. It's totally, oh, I love stuff like that. I love it. Stop them. Madison looks good. Yeah, Madison looks like another terrifying one. To traumatize you. We can make that. Yeah. The Block would be an incredible game. I've never seen the movie. Never seen the movie. I've heard about it, but I've never seen the movie. I just feel like there just needs to be more kind of like zombie games, really. I I just want like a like a basically like um, Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, like a game like that where you can kind of you know it's like a I guess kind of you go on these little missions and and stuff like that but maybe you get to kind of make your own character i don't know I just kind of want like a more kind of open world like zombie game that isn't crap you know what i mean one where you can kind of create your own character and like kind of want it to be like a mixture of saints and sinners a state of decay but not one where when you die it's like that's it you're dead and you have to either play as a different character or um you know you just kind of have to stop do you know what i mean i just i don't know Hard one. What did that do? Ouch. What did this do? Oh, 
I'm missing something. Let's see. Scared of any movie that Gal Gadot is in. If you've seen her act, then you'll know why. Yeah, she's not the greatest actress. She's okay, but I wouldn't call it like, you know, award winning. The game where it looks like Division mixed with zombies. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that one. Oh. <laughs> right, let's try that again. Oh no, we're already up here, I think. Right, where am I? confused as to what this is stopping. It's clearly something to do with up here because then it leads straight up here. Ah, has it lifted these? I think it's lifted the cogs. Let's see. Yes. It lifted the cogs. I didn't notice, you see. I saw the cogs, but I didn't notice they'd got any higher. Okay. Ah. Okay. Are we gonna make it? Yeah. Not a cheap slogan. Find it, it's called The Day Before. Day Before. Oh, maybe I have heard of that. I'll have to have a look. Lemon Cogs. squished. Bye. Okay, good. I, was, I thought I'd shut it out, but I wasn't sure if it, I actually had. And I had. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, no. I don't like this at all. 
Okay, so they've gone squares. Dome Queen, thank you so much. That's actually an old one. That was from like maybe two or three, two or three years ago. Do you know the Muffin Man? She's married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man. What are those? They look like chickens, but instead of having feathers, they're just like skin. Wait. What is that? Is that a chicken? Dodo? I think they're dodos, or maybe they're, they're either dodos or flamingos. I think they might be flamingos. Yeah. Oh no, no, they do look like dodos. I think she uses flamingos, I think, doesn't she? The um, Queen of Hearts. Is your flat all decorated with Halloween stuff yet? My house uh, is, yes. <laughs> it is all decorated, yes. Just realised Shrek is meant to be a kids' film, but it has some dark twists on kids. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, well, I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like it's disguised as a kids' film, but I feel like really it's. Uh, it's like a teen or an adult film, really. Another raid! Great Kraken, thank you so much for raiding! Oh my goodness! I've been raided twice today! I feel so blessed! Thank you so much! Um, what game were you playing? Thank you so much! Welcome in, everybody! Welcome to, um... To, to this monstrosity. <laughs> this is Alice at Madness Returns. I am Kirsten Hi. Rhea. Uh, I play a whole bunch of horror games. I was very kindly gifted this. Um, I played this when it first came out on like the 360 and I absolutely loved it, but I never completed it. So I'm gonna be challenging myself to try and complete it uh, over this weekend. So today, tomorrow and the weekend. So yeah, hopefully you guys will stick around for the rest of this. I'll be probably playing it until we get uh, poor Hatter's legs back, which I'm guessing will be at the end of this level. Um, but I'll be back tomorrow evening at the same time as well as Saturday and Sunday So I hope you'll join me then too, but thank you so much Kraken. I appreciate uh, appreciate it. Um, what game are you playing? I missed it. Sorry What game are you playing? I'm gonna have a quick just break while you guys can all come in Thank you so much for the follow as well guys all the follows. Thank you. I appreciate it moth moth mother moth moth rat moth I have I have motophobia. I hope you're not really a moth rat because that sounds terrifying <laughs> Oh, just have a little stretch. Oh, I hope you're all doing well. How are we all doing today? Not at all, big fan of your cosplay on the station. Oh, thank you so much. Dead by Daylight tonight. Uh, oh, nice, nice. I actually played the, I haven't played Dead by Daylight, but I played the dating sim recently and it was really funny. Um, I really enjoyed it. So if you enjoyed uh, Dead by Daylight and you want something a little bit different and a little bit like just really stupid and cheesy and stupid um try and get the dating sim because uh it really made me laugh i didn't even really know the characters um so there's i'm sure there's a lot of references that i missed but um but yeah i i thought it was really funny i can't believe this game came out in 2000 i know ian yes i know um but look how good it looks i mean i don't know if they've remastered it um i mean it looks as good as i remember it looking and that's not always the case it makes me think they've like remastered it for the pc um but i think it looks incredible um, and it's really good. It's just as good as I remember, but it was also if you haven't played this game and you're not a fan of horror or gore or anything like that I just want to let you know um, Hooked on you. Yes, I cosplayed as Dwight while I played it. Nice. That's brilliant. <laughs> I love that um, Yeah, this game is very dark it has some very dark themes. It's very very gory um, So yeah, just I'm just letting you know going into this so you don't be like what the hell is going on. It's um, it's pretty it's pretty creepy. Can 
I go over here? I don't think I can. Oh, oops. But yeah, it's going well, it's going well. Um, I just find that sometimes you get a little bit stuck because I don't know what to do. And unfortunately, um, I get a bit wrapped up in the streams and things and I forget to pay attention as to what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's just have a look around and see. And it's also, I, sometimes I think I'm not going to make that jump, but does it maybe want me to go over to that tongue, do you reckon? No, there's no way, no. Sometimes we underestimate Alice, you see, because you're sort of like, there's no way I'm going to make that jump. And she, she does it with ease, but um, I'm a little bit confused right now. It looks like it's wanting me to go over here. Ah, I see ya. Shoot my little pepper gun. There we go. Love this game so much. I've been supporting the Asylum sequel for ages now. Hope it gets given the green light. Yes, I was hearing about this the other day. This is why I added this to my wish list. It was very kindly gifted to me. Um, because I, it was just, yeah, randomly came up on my YouTube channel. It must have, like, read my mind. Because I'm pretty sure that technology does do that. Because it's, it's uncanny the amount of times that stuff like that's happened. And, um, yeah, it was like, oh, Alice Madness Returns. I was like, oh, man, that was such a brilliant game. And then it started talking about, like, a new one, and I was like, yeah, that would be fantastic. Um, and that's when I added the, I, I sort of um, had a look and, to see if I could get the original. And found this. And, yeah, look at it. It looks fantastic. So without regret, you're about to feel like a lobster who's been tossed into the boiling pot. What's he doing? Oh. I was like, that's not doing anything. Oh, don't speed up. Oh. I thought they were going to speed up, and I thought that there's no way I'm going to survive that. I hate stuff like this. It makes me panic so much. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Holy moly. Ooh, wow. Didn't even see that one. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of teeth here. Can we just go and update our stuff whenever we want? What other horror games are on your wish list? Oh, I mean, I've got all sorts. I've got, like, games that cost anywhere from, like, £2 to, like, full-on, like, big games. There's there's so many on there. Like, I, I tend to just go through and um, just add a whole bunch of, like, random ones whenever I see them because I just, I like, think they're really interesting. And it's not even for, like, you guys I always appreciate it when you guys, like, um, gift stuff to me. I really do. I Like, you don't have to do that. But a lot of time, like, that wish list is, for me, is genuinely, like, Right, I need to remember to play this game. I need to remember to like save up and buy it. So I always really appreciate it when you guys gift stuff like that to me because it, it's not expected at all. It's genuinely like my wish list to to remind myself. Disaster nerd, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, are we going over there? No. This is what I mean. I don't pay attention. It, it opens something, didn't it? What did you open? What did you open? Something down here? No. What did you open? I'm not even going to be able to go back, am I? No. I use the Steam wishlist just to keep, yeah, just keep an eye out for sales and like a lot of the time it's like, oh, this is, you know, on offer and, and stuff and, and some of the sales as well are so good. Like, even the other day I bought Resident Evil 2 and 3 because I've been meaning to play them again because I haven't played them in a while. Um, and I like being able to have a look at my Steam and be able to see, like, Resident Evil 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to, like, <laughs> Resident Evil 8. It's, it's quite satisfying. Um, and, yeah, they were, like, 70% off the other day. It notified me. It was like, yeah, some of your games are on sale. And I went through there and I think... Uh, Resident Evil 3 was like 70% off, Resident Evil 2 was like 60% off, so I got them for like £7, £10. I was like, yeah, okay, good. Right. What did this? What did this do?
Mm. Oh, did it? I think it stopped the. I think it stopped the. The, the punches? Stopped the punchies? Yeah. There we go. Figured it out, we got there in the end. at all. Okay. Oy. <laughs> oh, come on. I want to make you something, but I would need a picture of you in the Pennywise collar. Send it to me on Twitter DMs. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, you can feel free to just screen grab it if you want. <laughs> the music's picked up and I don't like it. I think it thinks I'm somewhere else. Oh! Right. So let's wait a little. They, they stay open for a little while, so let's just wait a little longer. And then... There. I need to do a threer. I need to do a threer. Oh, right, yeah, 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 you can't get it on it. Oh, is it not on my Twitter? I'll have to send it to you. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to do a threer. Oh, get out of here, you... The only Resident Evil game I don't have is Revelations and Opera. Yeah, I have played Revelations and I didn't know what Operation Raccoon City was. I'd always heard of it, heard of it. and um, they had it on um, PS5 the other day, but you have to stream it. Super annoying. There we go. We got there. We got there. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, so we're going to have to just take these out. Ah, I completely forgot how to do the thing. There we go. Yeah. Ah, too many things going on. got there guys want a new silent hill oh we all do sherlock we all do buddy definitely seems like the type to bug you he <laughs> oh he does what did i just do huh? oh ah 
hidden in the shadows over here. Have you upgraded your weapons? Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I thought about that a minute ago and I completely forgot to do it. I shall, I shall do that now. Don't you dare stop. He'll lose his mind. How does one, um, ah, here we go. Right, let's upgrade this, shall we? Uh, yeah, sure. Pepper grinder two. Uh, oh, that's that's all I've got. <laughs> wow, that, that costs a lot of that costs a lot of teeth. Just looked on your Twitter. I can't see any old Pennywise that you did, but I have found some images um, I could potentially use if the Pennywise doesn't work out. No problem. No problemo. <laughs> Aren't they uh, mastering Silent Hill 2 for re-release? Yeah, I saw something, it's interesting, I saw something about the other day and I said to my partner, I was like, oh yeah, I think they're gonna like remaster um, Silent Hill or like the one of the first, like Silent Hill 1 or 2 uh, and there was like some of this footage for it and stuff and I was like, I think it's going ahead, he was like, no, 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 if it's going ahead, like it'd be all over the internet and everything like that and then I think like a week later it was everywhere and it was like, yes, they're remastering Silent Hill I was like, I freaking told you, I told you <laughs> Wouldn't believe me. Oh, oh, oh! I left. Oh. oh, I thought I was deader then. Where are you gonna come down then? There we go. Tenacious Wench, thank you for adding me to your friends. I've just seen that. Thank you very much. Friend. Ooh, Steam friend. <laughs> Whoa. Wibbly wobbly. Goodness, everyone cheering me up so much today. Thank you so much. How are you? What were you playing? I'm gonna guess it was either The Last of Us Remaster or. Hmm. Oh, you did tell me. What were you playing the other day? I can't remember. You're gonna have to tell me. My memory, girl. It's not what it used to be. <laughs> I turned 30 soon. I'm, I'm, I'm old. <laughs> How are we all? How, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Kirsten Rhea. Thank you so much, Zombite, and for everyone who came over with uh, Zombite. Uh, I'm actually uh, I, I, I'm a lover of horror myself. Uh, me and Zombite, we have a lot in common. Uh, I'm actually known over here as the Zombie Queen, and my lovely followers are known as my Zombie Horde. So, you are perfectly welcome. Honestly, it's it's basically like a second home for you guys. Welcome in. This is Alice at Madness Returns. Um, I never completed it. I had it when I was a, a youngster. And we're hoping we can kind of complete it today. So thank you guys so much. Uh, oh, thank God. I raided someone I don't mod for now. Not to sit, now to sit back and relax. Yes, you can relax. <laughs> you can enjoy the show. Haven't played this one yet. Do you like it? Yes, it's really, really good. It's really good. It looks fantastic. Um, it's really interesting when you play a game that you played on like the 360 or like ages ago and you remember it looking really good and then you go back and play it and it doesn't look as good as you remember. But again, I think they must have remastered this because it looks just as good as I remember it, if not better. Um, and it, it plays really good. You sound British! 
<laughs> That's because I am, mate. Um, yes, I am British. <laughs> there he is, the hatter. With his lovely little hat. I've finished my work and you're complete, Tata. Absolutely. Now, what about this damnable train? How damnable for train. You. I feel like a new Thanks for the warm welcome, but I got a crash soon. Am, Joys of 7 a.m. Like starts. Have a great stream. Spring. Thank you so much, like Great Kraken. And thank you for being like here. Thank you for the bits. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. That in your eye. Answer me, Hatter. I'm suffering. I'm suffering. And changes here are a cause, or they're a reflection. Have you done a cosplay? No, that's, everyone's been What's asking me on? all streams on by Have you done rules? a Alice They're Madness just, just a cosplay? I have not. Um, but it's on my list. I want to do cosplay as her. But then the, she goes into like this um, like carnage mode and it's all like like she has like a white dress and her eyes are bleeding. Oh, it looked so cool. So um, I'm going to try and cosplay that as well. So yes, for any of you that are still here and you want to see any more of my stuff i do cosplays i do a whole bunch of horror cam content over on my youtube and on my instagram as well um this year i'm gonna go really gory and really just yeah it's gonna be good so um if that's the sort of content that you like which i'm sure you do because you have been following the lovely zombite um, and enjoying her content so if that's the sort of stuff that you would like to see more of please go and follow me on my instagram um if you are under 18 you might struggle to get in i need to change some settings on it i didn't realize that it was like blocking people if they were under 17 uh, no, under 18 um but yeah as long as you're happy to see all the blood and gore and, and creepy stuff then that's fine just uh please don't send your parents to attack me and have a go at me about it um but yeah, uh, it's uh, at Kirsten Rhea with two A's, R-I-A-A. -A. Um, if someone could send my socials, I'd appreciate it. But uh, yes, I'm, I'm really excited because uh, I've recently just done, I think you liked it actually, Zombite, on my uh, Twitter. I did a Lord Payman, like female version from Hereditary. I'm going to share the rest of those on my uh, Instagram soon. Um, and I've got plans to do Midsommar and um, I've also got Midnight Mass that I'm going to be doing uh, cosplay. and, and co well, not, Some of it's cosplay, some of it's just kind of putting myself into that universe and, and doing photography based off of that. Um, but it's, I'm really excited to do it. It's going to look good. Throw a clockwork bomb. Oh, I shall. That wasn't very far. Can I throw it further? No. Not at all. Does that do anything? Is this doing anything? Not really. Why did it want me to throw a clockwork bomb? <laughs> We're talking a lot about cosplay in uh, Zombite stream. Nice! Are you planning on doing some uh, cosplays? Are you, are you, are you? When I go to Comic Con next month, I might go either as Connor from Detroit. Oh, nice! Yes, go as Connor. That's like, oh. Everyone will know who you are. Like, if you go as 4 to 7, they might just think you've just turned up, like, rocking a really fancy suit. And they'll be like, he looks very fancy for a, for a Comic Con. So if you go as Comma, I feel, Comma? Connor, I feel like that's instantly recognizable. And then if you do it, you've got to do the, like, classic little reel of being like, Connor! What the fuck you doing? <laughs> I love that. It's like one of the best of the <laughs> You know, I like your vibe, Casimir. Let me do this real quick. Oh! Did you follow? Thank you so much if you did. Sorry, I'm being attacked by weird demon goo babies. Hang on a second, hang on, hang on. Let's get it, let's get in the right position here. What's going on? There we go. Yeah, that's not get your hands away from your weird little baby faces. So I can kill you. Come on. It's taken ages. Come on. Why is it taking so long? Am I missing something? Not let me shoot him. Ah, here we go. Oh, I did not block that one at all. Oh, he finally started throwing stuff. Uh, tell that demon to knock it off. We were having a moment, appreciating your vibe and giving you a follow. You were thanking me. <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Dude, 
Come on. I've got people to thank here. Why is it taking so long? He doesn't usually cover his face for this long. Right, here we go. There we go. Now we can get in there and shoot his stupid little faces. Ooh, ooh. Very much right thank you sorry as i was rudely interrupted thank you everyone that has followed and evil c monkey for following i appreciate it thank you so much i'm sorry honestly these goo babies they're so bloody rude i think we're almost near the end i appreciate everything thank you so much as well for the for the raid guys i really that's, like that's three i've had today i'm so What's lucky I've, I've not had really three like raids like Your ever i don't think that's, really that's amazing i really appreciate it love to stay longer we have a friend in town and we're going to eat some dinner now nice have a lovely rest of your stream oh i appreciate it well have and, and enjoy your dinner and I, I thank you so much for the raid uh have fun with your friend enjoy your dinner um i hope you have some good i hope you have something good I hope you have something cheeky something naughty you know something you're not usually supposed to have yeah you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much. And uh, yes, uh, I'll message you on Discord again soon so that we can sort out doing a lovely little collab stream so we can get the whole gang, the whole gang together. But thank you so much. Uh, I will be finishing up soon um, once I've done this level. Um, so for everyone that is sticking around, please stick around to the end if you can. Um, but if not, thank you anyway. And uh, have a good evening. Good evening. the other side. Uh -huh. I look forward to it. I look forward to it, Zombite. It's gonna be a good one. Her hair keeps changing length. Oh, is it because she's... Oh, she was short. I wonder if uh, when she gets, because she had a different dress to this um, before we came onto this level. So this is like her little steampunk dress. So I really hope, I really, really hope that her dress changes with each level that we do because, oh my God, that would be so good. What do you reckon up there? I'm going, oh no, down? She said down. She said down. Yep, it's gotta be down. Extra points if you know what that quote's from. Ah. Great to see zombies working together. Yeah, it's always good to see zombies working together. A jolly old cooperation. Little collab. A collaborate. Look at him go, he's a creepy fella. Oh, was that him? Jesus, Hatter. Right, so who are we going against? Because we've seen a mechanical rat. Oh, demon train, good. It's the Hogwarts Express. like literally if the Hogwarts was turned into the train. We found the source of the shaking, but are those two quaking? What are they up to? You'll never stop us, silly Hatter and Alice. It's left! You're too the late! The insolence, the arrogance, the execrable table manners! They are destroyers of Wonderland! Defilers, denuders, derangers! Defilers! Delightful! It's present! Did they actually create that infernal train to destroy Wonderland? What does that matter? They deserve to die! Oh! Ah, put me down this instant! I ought to be... Enough talk! Battle time, missy! Enough talk! Let's fight! Right, here we go. Boss fight. Boss battle. Uh-oh. Abandon false hope. Forget the past. 
Abandon the damage is done. <laughs> Let the madness begin. Resume the folly. That can't be comfortable. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Maniac, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh! oh, oh no. ah. Ah. <laughs> Oh, good. I'll just fight them. That's that's fine. I can deal with that. No. Oh. oh, my precious domain. And the guests. All I really wanted was another tea party. Please, Hatter, you promised. Where is that train going? What's its purpose? Tell me, now. There's no time for whatever it is you want to talk about. It's time for tea. Talk trains with Turtle. He ran the looking glass line. <coughs> I thought Not Turtle not. was lost at sea. Still be friends. I've got to find our tea leaf. <laughs> He's just dead. Is his head gonna fall off? <laughs> My memories are shattered. I'm trying to collect the pieces, and I now believe the train impedes me. You must help me. You promised. Ask the one who helped them what helped themselves. Whoever that is. Ah! Oh, very pick. He deserved to die. And I'm about to drown in tea in ignorance. <laughs> no, it's like my worst nightmare, drowning in tea. <laughs> okay. So hopefully, again, I'm hoping the next level she'll have like a different dress to kind of match the theme of each level. Oh. Caught me very own ribbon. Oh. Saints be praised that he works in mysterious ways. Oh, I've got oh, plans that. for her. Take her over to the oh. Mangle oh. Mermaid. Rent oh. a bed. <laughs> On to woo a girl, Mr. Brawl. What do you think you're doing? What comes natural like? Not natural to me. Get away. Hmm, okay, so we're back in reality. <laughs> oh, there's the cat again, though. Do you think you would ever do a little sister a bit? Oh my goodness, food. Sherlock. No, I've either. always, if I, if money was not an, a, a question, not a, not if, if it didn't matter, you know what I mean? I would get a big sister cosplay. That I've always wanted to do a big sister cosplay. Little sister, I could definitely do. It's easy enough. It's easy enough to create. It's easy enough to buy. It's not. It's not that expensive. But a big sister cosplay is. I'd either have to make it myself, which would cost a lot of money, or I would have to get it made or buy one that's already been made, which is going to cost even more money. Um, but I would so love to do a big sister cosplay. I would. Oh, I friggin' love Bioshock. I'm getting very Bioshock vibes from this music, actually. The mangled no she is mangled and with droopy wrinkly boobs. Oh I can't jump anymore apparently. Cause you know what they say, if you're not in Wonderland, you no no jumpies. Excuse me. Tart what? with some rough edges. Likes everything rough, I'll wager. A handsome offer, but I've got an appointment with another man. Well, girl, how hard do you want to make this? <laughs> you should know that doctor says I have a terrible disease. Hmm. I'm rabid too. An infectious. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Where's me money, you fucking spunk bucket? Get those fat ass whores out on the street or I'll come up and brain Start you. Shut off, you cocker snipe. You'll never get past long tip. I'll get <laughs> what you and your flooshies owe me, Miss Ladybird. See if I don't. Maybe you notice I'm not pissing me drawers at the prospect. Alice Little. You're making nice change. I was lurking Bring in Zombie stream. stream. Oh, hello, Punisher. Hello. <laughs> How do you feel about the new Bioshock being open world? Um, I wasn't aware it was. Um, I don't know. I think... I mean, I love Bioshock anyway. Even the ones that weren't as popular, you know, or weren't as highly rated. I just, I love that that universe. Um, so I think I'd quite enjoy it. I think it's it's nice to be able to explore... Um, you know, have a, a new world to explore, and and they always go such extra miles with the creation of the the different worlds that they create. Whether it's Rapture or um, Col Columbus, was it called Columbus? Um, it's just so beautiful, and it's definitely something that you that you'd want to explore and you want to see more of. So the fact that it's open world, I think, 
Yeah, I think that's a brilliant. It doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> I'm just happy to have another Bioshock. I'm not complaining. Which one's the bigger? Back off. Back off. Where'd she go? Down here? Okay, there's all sorts of strange sounds coming from these rooms that I would rather not hear. You won't give oh, me what she I did want. get in. I'll burn this dump of yours down to the you ground. Got in. Go away. She's done no harm. <laughs> she hurt me feelings. Uh oh, not fire. Oh, Jesus Christ. Could have just slapped me, but by God. Do you think you could do a Kara from DBH? Cosplay? DBH. I don't know what DBH is. You'll have to tell me. <laughs> I like to... I tend to try and cosplay characters that I can kind of relate to or that I enjoy, so... Oh! Detroit Become Human. Yes! I was... Do you know what? I was actually going to. I forgot about Kara. Um, I was going to. I bought. I even bought this little LED light that was going to stick to the side of my head. Um, but um, I didn't get around to doing it. Didn't get around to doing it. Oh, we're back in this one. Oh, I wanted like a cool little nautical one. That would have been good. Tundra fall. Right, okay. I'm guessing the clock when that comes up means it's auto saving, I'm hoping. We're gonna leave that there because um, otherwise I'll be going all night <laughs> and I've got to get up early in the morning. But um, thank you for everyone that raided and came over with the raids and followed and stuck around. I appreciate it, I really, really do. Um, let me just um, try and see if I can. I'm so I'm sorry. You're gonna see my my YouTube in the background in a sec now, because um, it won't let me get out of this. <laughs> Scott, twelve months. My God, where does the time go? A year, a year, Scott, a year. Congratulations <laughs> for putting up with me for that long. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, there we go. You get to see where I was watching Garrett Watts. <laughs> well, actually, we were all watching Garrett Watts before the uh, before the stream started. Um, so yeah, um, basically, I, I I was watching the video and I got side I got sidetracked and I was trying to fix my my Streamlabs and I was watching Garrett Watts in the background and it was, and I realised I had to go on stream and so we ended up sitting down and watching the rest of the. Um, the rest of the video together and it was really funny so yeah that's just some of the stuff that you'll do on my streams sometimes we're, we might even go through and watch some nukes top five a bit chills you know just want, you know see if we can debunk some ghost sightings um love the bioshock merch oh yeah no i've got yeah the, i've got bioshock is in that one and then i've got at the top which you can't see because it's out of frame but at the top i've got my dishonored at the top because dishonored is my favorite game of all time and then it's and then it's uh bioshock and then it's resident evil and then it's Fallout. <laughs> so it's in order of like my favourite and like, so yeah, Dishonored gets the biggest at the top, um, but you can't see it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. I've just made this as well, which is my Rosemary. I don't know if you, if you guys are loving as, uh, Resident Evil as much as, as I do, but this is my Mega My Seat uh, crystallised Rosemary jar, flask from uh, Shadows of Rose, and it does light up, I shall show you. I made it today, in about four hours, so I'm quite proud of myself. So, I'll only put one light on for now, because if you put two lights on, it seems to blow out the, the camera, and you can't quite see. Isn't that cool? I'm really proud of myself, you know? I'm a crafty little bugger sometimes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm actually I'm going to be uploading a uh, tutorial on how I made this. So if you enjoyed the series and you want to make one yourself, I made this for about £20. Um, and everything was either something you could get in like a grocery store um, or on Amazon. So yeah, if you want to make one, I will be putting up a video. So if you haven't already, please go and follow me over on... Um, sure. Fallout, yes, I do. I enjoy Fallout. Uh, let me see if I can. If uh, I think my lovely Steve is working, yes, Steve the Ghost is working. That is top notch for twenty quid. I know, I know. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, it really was about. It was just hot glue and a jar and a bunch of plastic crystals and uh, time and time and a printer. So yeah, it really wasn't too like hard to do. It was just uh, it was just a bit stressful to get everything together and get everything working to put it together. And I did burn my finger a couple of, a couple of times. Apart from that, 
wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It was pretty easy. So can't wait for the video. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, so uh, there's all my socials. So if you do want to see um, the uh, the video and the photo shoots and stuff like that, because I'm going to be doing a Rosemary Winters photo shoot with that prop, um, because I was very kindly sent a uh, Ethan Winters replica coat from Insert Coin Clothing, um, which was super awesome of them. So yes, there will be a Rosemary Winters photo shoot happening soon. But if you want to see any of the other stuff that I'll be doing, um, you can please support me over on Patreon. I would appreciate it and all of the stuff will also be on my Instagram is where I post pretty much all of my photos and things but obviously there's Twitter and everything like that and YouTube is where I'll be doing like the kind of behind the scenes of like how I made the props but then I've also got some like horror content I do my short films and I also have a bunch of kind of like reviews or like best sort of Halloween horror themed things that you can do um, in the UK as well as around the world when I get to being able to do that sort of stuff. But if you're in the UK, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing sort of that, that like best horror parks or, you know, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, please go subscribe and, and like and, and notify and all that stuff. You guys know, you're on the internet, you know what's going on. But thank you for, for hanging out and coming over with a raid and sticking with me. I appreciate it. It was lovely having you here. And I hope that you'll join us again tomorrow. I'm going to be playing some more Alice over um, on Friday, um, th which is tomorrow. <laughs> Saturday, I'm going to be doing a collab stream with uh, Nikki, still Panda. We're going to be trying to see if we can play through some Resident Evil 6. Before you at me, like it gets a bad rap i think people like to pile on they like to jump on the bandwagon like with the whole nickelback situation when in reality it's not that bad it's really not that bad it's actually quite enjoyable is it as best as good as the other ones no but is it bad no it, it's enjoyable it's fun you know you just got to, you just got to look at it a different angle you know you just got to read between the lines a little bit you squint your eyes you know and uh, and then it's not too bad and uh, yeah so and then I'll also be doing some more uh, Alice on Sunday so uh, hopefully you guys will join me um, if there's any recommendations no Resi 6 hate here yes thank you very much um, it was a great first stream well thank you so much for, for coming along uh, Jordan thank you I appreciate it um, I don't know if there was any raid recommendations let me see if there's anyone that I follow online that we can go and uh, say hi to but if anyone has a recommendations please let me know it's uh, it's so difficult it doesn't give you much of a, a choice on Twitch that's the only thing I don't like about that when you go to raid a channel and it's just sort of like you know these four people are online but there's like so many other people there's so many other people online Patreon's totally worth it. It's full of amazing content. Thank you, Scott. Thank you so much. And again, there's you get sort of like behind the scenes as well on uh, Patreon that I wouldn't you wouldn't kind of see anywhere else, um, or you get, get access to that sort of stuff before anyone else. So um, so yeah, like the DIY video for for that is going to be up on Patreon before anywhere before you see it anywhere else. So um, so yeah, it's going to be good. I feel the same unpopular opinion in coming. I think Metal Gear Survive might have been good if it was skinned. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, it's, sometimes you just got to look between the lines. You know, you just got to think, ignore that and just, you know, just just get on with it. You know, there's nothing wrong with enjoying a game that might not have, you know, just because it's not the best out of the group doesn't mean it's not a good, enjoyable game. As long as you're having fun, like, what's what's the problem? Um, let's see. Okay. Nicole Tompkins. Hmm. Does anyone have any recommendations to raid or should we just call it a day? Should we just not raid and we'll just we'll just leave it for today because because I'm not going to be able to stay. I'm tired. I'm getting a headache from this hat. <laughs> so I'm going to go straight to bed. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be going straight to bed. Should we just call it a night? Should we just call it a night and not bother anyone? Because I know that we should raid people because it makes them feel good. I had three today. Do you know what? Actually, no, we should. We should raid. We should raid. We had three today. We should raid. We should pass on the love. I'm going to pick someone at random. We're going to we're gonna go raid uh, Coffee Cat. She's playing Persona 5 Royal. It's a very good game. It's a very good game. So send her some love and, uh, you know, you, you might enjoy it. You might enjoy it. But if not, no worries. Don't send any hate. Be kind. Be excellent to each other. Stay safe. Stay spooky. Love you all. You guys are amazing. Um, enjoy your day wherever you are. And if you are going to go to bed now like me, have some sweet dreams try not to have any nightmares about some of the stuff that we have just witnessed in this game <laughs> but yeah that was awesome thank you guys all for being here and i will see you guys uh tomorrow evening same time same place Bye bye